Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be jumping into Acid Pro 10 and looking at the new sidechain feature they have added. Let's get right to it. So sidechain is a great thing for all kinds of pumping effects, and if you're unfamiliar with sidechain, all it does is take a compressor, and instead of compressing the audio that's coming in and using that audio to determine when to compress it, it instead uses an external signal, such as a kick drum. So when the kick drum hits, it tells the compressor to turn the volume down on the input, and you get that pumping effect going on. So I have this track here at the very beginning that we're just going to give a quick listen to, and there's already actually some side chaining going on. Let's go ahead and just hear this real fast. And that's what's going on right now. And we've got this lovely uh, bass sound that's already got some side chaining going on. If I actually open up the effects chain, I've got this compressor and the kick drum is driving the compression here. If I were actually to bypass this and we were to give this a listen. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it back on real fast so you can hear that. So you can hear it being used for that, that sucking effect, the pumping effect. It's also commonly used in multiband compression to get the de-essing out of a vocal. There's a bunch of other ways to use uh, side chaining. You can create cool rhythmic things with it. If you have like a pad, you want it to take on a more rhythmic characteristic. You can side chain it with some drums, some hi-hats and whatnot. So there's a lot of possibilities here. So let's go ahead and set this up. I would also like to side chain that arpeggiation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the channel that's got the arpeggio on it. And if we play this really fast, that doo -doo 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 -doo, I'd like to side chain that. So let's go ahead, we're gonna come into the effects here. We're going to add an effect. And in here, we're gonna go to categories and dynamics, cause we need a compressor. So first I'm gonna show you using a compressor that you should totally have. And then I'm gonna show you using a third party compressor cause this should work with anything that has a sidechain input. So I'm gonna use the EFX compressor and just add that, hit OK, just double click it. And here it is. And what all we need to do is right click on the compressor, go to sidechain input and choose the input you wanna use. So I'm gonna choose Leviathan Kick 2 or input two that is. And on Leviathan Kick 2, if we take a look at the effects there, so it's given us a sidechain sender plugin on the kick channel. It's also got a filter here, and I just want to make sure that I am not filtering anything out. So the low pass is going to be all the way up because most compressors and things are going to have filters you can already use right in them. So I'm going to just make sure that that's off because I intend to use the filter there. And we're going to come back to our main sound. And we're going to have the attack and release really low. The filter, I'm not going to use it right now just because I want the full brunt of the kick. Even the, the stuff that might be a little long. The threshold, we're going to dial up a bit. We're going to keep the ratio. Yeah, right around there is fine. And uh, let's just hear this thing now that it's been all set up. We can see the kick doing its job. And you've got side chaining. So there you go. Now this compressor doesn't get particularly pumpy. And so I'm going to look for another compressor real quick and just do it with a third party one just to show you uh, sort of how that goes. So I'm going to close this one. I'm going to add another one. And this one I'm going to come over to categories, dynamics again. And this time I'm just going to choose an, a Melda audio compressor. So I'm going to just choose the M compressor and hit OK. So this is just a third party compressor, but to just show you it's the same process. I'm going to right click on it, choose sidechain input. I'm going to choose the kick. And then I'm going to activate the sidechain input. I'm going to turn on right here. And in this one, we can actually uh, hear it. Uh, we can audition it. So we can see the kick doing its job. It's moving that back and forth, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to unaudition it. And I'm going to, at this point, I'm now going to dial back some, maybe get some more aggressive pumping and just adjust a couple settings to get sort of the pump that I would like. So let's go ahead and just do that. Got some distortion there. We don't want to go too fast. The other one had some sort of a audio smoother. 
And there you go. That's some simple side chaining inside of Acid Pro 10. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe, hit that bell icon for future videos, and have a blessed day. day.